chair usually sit in. Guess I'll sit in that one. <clears throat> In the frame. Looking good. Hey, Bob's. <laughs> yeah, she'll probably be all over me, honestly. Nah, she's gonna be a part of the video. Okay. It's probably yeah. Over. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> um, well, camera's on. Um, why don't we start with, uh, you know, how long? What's your name? How long you've been playing hockey? All right, all right, yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm Lucas Brown, um, been playing hockey for five years, uh, I'm a mechanical engineering major um, at WSU, and I have um, about, I just got to finish this last semester, and um, looking for jobs in grad school next, so, yeah. Um, we're, we're, actually, we should run that back, I, I forgot to tell you this. Mm -hmm. Try to, try your best to ignore the camera. Oh, okay, gotcha, um, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha, all right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, no, I feel, I feel, I feel. No, 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 no. Good call. Good I call. Done the same thing. Good call. Good call. Um. So yeah. So what? Uh, you know, what's? Uh, how long have you been playing sports? What's your name? And, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what? What's your major? And when do you plan on graduating? Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. So I'm graduating this. Uh. This coming semester. Um. Done. Uh. After December. Um. I've been playing for. Five years. Wow. Wow. Let's just redo that. All right, all right, from the beginning. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, I'm I'm Lucas Brown. Um, I've been playing hockey for five years now, and um, mechanical engineering major. About to graduate in December, and um, yeah, uh, just looking for new opportunities next. Jobs, graduate programs. What's yeah. what's kind of your role on the team? Would you say? So I'm I'm uh, the, one of the starting uh, defensemen. Um, I recently have been, uh, I know, I would say, uh, having crucial blocks, uh, when the other team is like shooting at our goalie, um, I'm, I'm stopping those. I'm also, uh, uh, leading other players or leading the players that are coming at me off to the side so they can't get a good shot. Uh, I mean, those like minor things that you do just to make sure that, uh, they're not constantly getting shots on your net are what helps you win games. So. Um, that that's mainly my job, and just getting the puck to the people that know how to actually weave through everybody and score, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm just the main wall barrier between people coming at us and the goalie. I try to stay in between them the whole time. So, so would you consider yourself, if I'm understanding you correctly, like the last line of defense? Yeah, yeah, right before the goalie, and yeah, uh, I typically block. I would say probably like five shots. On average, a game just kind of like jumping in front of shots, just trying to like make sure they don't get to our goalie, to where there could be a possible chance on a score. Because scoring in hockey is so limited. Um, usually, games are uh, two, three, four points for each team max, um, and that's a pretty high-scoring game. So every time there's a goal scored, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, what uh, you know. Describe what it's like when you see that puck coming for your goal, and you know, like, it's like there have been times where you have to lay your whole body out on the ice. You know, what yeah. Did you do before? What have you seen before, and what have you had to do? Yeah, so this last game we were playing uh, USC, and um, their best player was right behind me, in between me and the goalie, which shouldn't usually happen, um, but I was going up to, to block a shot from their defenseman, and he took a slap shot, which is when you just smack the puck as hard as you can. Um, and it was coming, it was really high, it was coming straight from my face. Um, but I knew that if it was, uh, it got past me, their best player would probably deflect it and possibly score um, because uh, he was just more phenomenal than pretty much anybody on the ice. So um, I ended up sticking my hand out there and there's no padding on the front side of your glove, but there's a lot of padding on the back. I didn't really realize it, but I just stuck my whole hand out there and blocked a pretty quick shot. I'm, I would say like 50, 60 miles an hour. And yeah, that rubber really hurts, but uh, you just shake it off and keep on playing. And yeah, it, it swelled up a little bit, but I put some ice on it and 
stayed out there. We only had four defensemen, so I I had to I had to keep it. Um, I, had, I had to keep playing, and yeah, that's that's I think that's what our team needs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do, do you? What's some of the other injuries that you've? That like, what's what? What is? Do you do you hesitate? Like you know, when you when you see when you see the cup the puck coming in, you know it's a shot on your goalie. Do you ever say, oh, maybe the goalie can get it? There's enough space. You know what, well, what goes through your mind? So the main thing is just trying to make sure that your body's positioned exactly facing the puck because all of your padding on all of your uh, all of your body is. Um, on the front side, and most of your gear is uh, there's not protection on the inside of your legs, um, on the sides of yourself. So you either want to make sure you're, sp you're facing like directly forward, or if you're facing backwards, there's also uh, the back of your shin pads just have no padding. So that's where you usually take shots is your shin pads. And um, I've had shots that have broken through my shin pads, just completely shattered them. Um, and I don't know, it's just something you got to do. Uh, just to make sure they don't have any shots on your your goalie. But what are some of the most violent injuries that you've seen um, um, on the ice personally? Personally, my my brother he plays up in Canada, and um, this last season he uh, was going for a puck right in front of the defenseman. He plays he plays forward, so he's like the opposite position as me. Um, we get some practice doing that. Uh, it's always fun. But he was going in for a puck and. Someone, uh, he, he ended up hitting someone. Their skate came up and sliced open his leg, and he had to get around 40 stitches, and it was about an uh, inch deep, almost, almost got to the, one of the main veins. So, Bub, stop. Shh. But, yeah, that was one of the most intense because uh, it was bleeding like crazy. He didn't really know what to do. I've also seen multiple pucks to the face. Uh, in our league, we have we're allowed, we have to wear a cage, like a full metal cage. Um, in like my brother's league and higher leagues, uh, they allow you to just wear like a visor or just no visor at all, or or the cage if you want. Um, but most people choose to wear just the visor, and that in turn leads to like a lot of pucks, to like the facial area, jaw, mouth, broken jaws, missing teeth. That that's always a stereotypical thing of hockey players. So I'm I'm kind of glad I've always been in a league that has required a cage because I've definitely seen my fair share of pucks to the face. So yeah, it happens, but um, yeah, usually they're not that fast. <laughs> that's always nice. That's that's nice though. That yeah. In the cage, it totally is fine. But yeah, besides that, um, also, um, there's this call where you're not allowed to hit people when they're a certain distance away from the boards. So if, if they were, uh, like you say, uh, a, a foot or two away from the boards and someone comes and hits them, they're flying into the boards, like going straight with their head or shoulders, like into the wall with a lot of force. And that person could have been coming at them at uh, uh, 10, 15 miles an hour, just, just trying to wreck them. So um, I've seen that happen uh, to quite a bit of my, my teammates. It's happened to me once or twice. And the results are never good. It's always, uh, I've seen broken collarbones, uh, arms, uh, multiple concussions. My brother's had multiple from that. I've had probably one from uh, just getting thrown in and I was hit from behind. That's also another big penalty is you can't hit someone from behind. And it's happened to me and I just got pinned against the boards and I kind of like folded in half the wrong way. And yeah, that's, that was, that was like right when I started off, I was still learning, but uh, yeah, you just get up and and keep on going at it. Yeah, it's it's a, it's it's a fun sport. It's rewarding, especially when you're the other side. Not not technically hurting somebody, but laying the wood, scoring, juking someone out. It's always fun. So obviously, it's a, a really violent, um, you know, violent sport. And that kind of like football, you you'd say it, you know, has a size has a pretty big edge. Yeah, um, yeah. But also speed. Speed is really crucial. But yeah, go ahead. Um, Tall and what's, what is your weight? Yeah, I'm. I'm honestly, because uh, this, this is pretty important in hockey, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm actually pretty small for most hockey players. Um, uh, five, almost five ten, uh, around one sixty. So, um, it's like a lightweight defenseman. Usually, D are pretty big. Um, but the thing that I have is I'm, I'm really stable and just have a, like a really good mind for knowing where the puck's going to be. And so, I'm usually one of the first ones to get to the puck. Um, usually, people don't take their angles right or kind of like 
miss the puck and, and I'm one of the people that can get to it and get it past the um, defenders that are trying to take it in our zone. So, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a... Uh, and, and so how does, you know, but being undersized, obviously taking hits and whatnot, does... How does your mindset going into a game have to be? Describe what your ritual or what you yeah, have to okay, do in okay. such a violent yeah. scenario because this is not, there's no manner to yeah. this is hockey. Yeah, no, right, right, right off, exactly, right, right off the bat, um, coming into WCU hockey freshman year, I was uh, almost terrified just because of how big all the people were with all their beards and everything, um, and I was like five years younger, so it, it was pretty terrifying but after going through five years of hockey I've I've learned that it's more based on skill and speed instead of size for the most part you can really I've seen a lot of little guys we just call them cannonballs and they just f throw their bodies at bigger people people that are quicker and and they can uh yeah just lay people out so it's, it's really about how much speed you can carry with like the weight that you have and um for me being a defenseman always going into the corners trying to get a puck out and onto our forwards so they can take it like into the offensive zone going into that corner there's always somebody coming in to hit you really hard so you really have to be smart about either dump it to your other d-man or you could take it like get hit or try to slide past it it's like you, you just have to like kind of juke out the other person um that's that's coming to hit you so or, and getting to the puck.